Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. First thing I want to do is apologize for how long it's been since I released an episode. Uh, work has been absolutely crazy this week before the, the uh, uh, holiday season. So um, I was kind of busting my butt day and night at work trying to get stuff done. So I got 16 days off now, which is going to be awesome. So I'm going to try and record episodes every day. Um, get these released. Um, I'm still working on my uh, next campaign idea. I'm going to wait till um, Rogue Tech gets compatible with Heavy Metal first before before doing my next uh, series. So we're going to keep on going with this one until that happens. So uh, where we left off last time, um, I haven't really done anything since then. So we've got the Apollo and the Hades here up for repair. we got our guys here that need to be uh, healed up. But if we go to the Mech Bay real quick, we did pick up a crab and this guy, if we refit him and have a look at him, he is like, got nothing. Nothing. So, it's kind of a nice loadout, though. It's got lots of laser hard points, a couple missile hard points, some support hard points. So, I mean, it's pretty good. It's a SLDF, too. So, we've got uh, a royal heat, uh, heat sink kit in here already, uh, which is already minus 5% weapon heat, which is great. Uh, minus six heat return, maximum overheat and everything. It's just, it's a nice thing to have in here already. Uh, but it's going to be, we're going to max out the armor on it. It's going to be 486,000 in 16 days to get this up and running. But we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, let's confirm this. I haven't dropped a core in it yet. We've, we've got a 250 core, but I want to try and integrate that into the Centurion because we've still got a 200 in here. We need to drop an XL engine in this guy, so we need lots of... Uh, uh, C bills to be able to do that like we need a million at least to be able to drop that in there so uh, we're going to pull off a couple missions on this planet we got uh, 21 days before the end of the month um, let's just manage our tasks a little better here to get an extra day in of the crab repair um, so we're going to get our pilots back pull off a couple missions here and then um, before the end of the month we're going to jump out of here so let's have a look here at the command center there's not really that much. There's a, uh, I want to take a three skull, but I'm just, I, I'm not confident that we're going to walk out of this without losing some stuff. So I, I want to kind of avoid that. So we've got a couple of things. We've got the test drive, which we haven't done yet in this series. It's a mauler, so it might not be too bad. One and a half skulls. It's um, for uh, Jade Falcon, and it's against Clan Wolf, if I'm correct. Um... Yeah, Wolf Lance. So this might be a good one to take. Uh, there's also Vanguard 2 here, which is a defend base mission, which is really easy, but most likely that'll end up being an entire episode. So I want to take Test Drive, this this one first, and see how this goes. So we're going to negotiate, and we're going to go max salvage on this and accept. Okay, so yeah, Infiltrator will take the Mauler. Hollander, Apollo, Spawn. Uh, we want to bring... Let's stick with our pilots taking their correct mechs here. Yeah, we'll go this route. And let's deploy and get the sucker done. Alright, here we go. Ugliest damn mech I've ever seen, eh? Built like a brick shit house, though. Yeah, that, I, I can agree with that. Alright, so that's where we're going to engage the lances and then we're getting out over here, I imagine. But we're not leaving. We're going to max this sucker out. So one and a half skull. We need we need stuff. We need stuff. All right. So let's move forward. Um, I want to thank everybody for the great comments too. Um, one thing I haven't been doing with the uh, the tag systems that we've been using, the tag barrage and stuff, and I, I should have been doing probably more often, is targeting the ground with them um, around enemies. I've been kind of singling them out on on a specific enemy um, and um, just hoping that it hits the, the uh, enemies around them but I think targeting the ground in an area might actually work better so I'm going to try some of that um, also I want to mention too the uh, the new series that I'm kind of working on currently um, not really working on but coming up with the ideas for currently um, it's uh, I was planning on doing it as like a clan start, but I think it's going to be a half and half. One of the one of the two uh, uh, lances or games that are running side by side um, will be um, clan mechs, and then the other one will be inner sphere mechs. 
Uh, and I'm going to be running up um, uh, far from clan space to start. So we're not going to be in clan space. Let's get up here. Um, we won't be in clan space to start. Um, and we might we might end up making our way there. We'll see how it goes. Um, but what we're going to end up doing is, like I said, run two games side by side as if both dropships are on the same uh, Argo. Um, all right, let's get up here. Not too close. All right, we got blips. Uh, run them side by side, and then um, okay, what do we got here? Center two C, Zora, Adder, Arctic Fox. I don't know. Locust looks like. Svantovit. Okay, so we got some pretty good resistance here. Kit Fox, uh, Locust. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're running them side by side. Let's see what we got here. LBX5, LRM10. My more better damage and more better chance to hit. So let's take this. We're going to fire the barrage anyway. I want to see if I can take this guy out. Ah, crap. Ah, the broad missed. Um, so, yeah, what I want to do is I want to try and play a bunch of unconventional loadouts, too. Um, Fist of Dorn has been saying multiple times that I should be looking at uh, different types of loadouts. Because I, I generally play what I have a feeling I know is going to work and what I feel comfortable with. But I need to start expanding outside of my comfort zone. So I'm going to do that a lot with this new series. So more pirate weapons, more experimental weaponry. Um, I'm not going to worry so much about that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and just go, I don't want to say nuts with it, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, hmm, want to do this? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, take different weapon systems and things like that. Okay, so what do we got here? Ooh, 70%, the rack. Either one. Two missile, three energy. Same with this guy. Uh, this guy's got more armor. Doesn't matter the damage. Let's uh, let's wind it up. See if we can take out the Arctic Fox. He's facing us. Is he facing us or is that a side attack? That's a side attack, it looks like. Mm, let's take the adder then. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to the new series. But once again, I'm not going to start it until I get... Um, until Rogue Tech is up and running with Heavy Metal. Now, I've been reading the Discord, and they, they've they said that the Rogue Tech team is actually working with Hairbrain Schemes right now on the new mod loader. Uh, so it looks like, I don't know whether they did that with the last version or what they did, but um, it looks like Hairbrain Schemes is on board with uh, with modding and stuff, which is great. Um, it just means we can look forward to, uh, you know, uh, quality mods in the future. And I don't blame them. I mean, this, this game is pretty phenomenal, what they've done here. All right. I know I'm tooting, my, I'm tooting the horn again of these guys, but let's leave the barrage off. Um... But the rogue, I say guys, but the Rogue Tech team has done a phenomenal job. Solid connection on that one. Beautiful. He's not having a good day. Oh, there's a chopper back here. We better target that thing. We got Lerms coming up. So we can use our Lerms hopefully on that chopper. Yeah, whenever you hear me use the term guys, I, I just basically mean everybody. I don't, it's not not uh, sex specific, I guess. What do I got? Two LBX-10s, two ER larges, and two LRM-20s. Whoa! Let's stand up here so that everybody can see me. This is a pretty heavy loadout. What's the armor? 1142. No movement, but let's core this guy. Yeah, let's not use everything though. I'm gonna leave the LBXs off and fire the rest of it. Hmm. 
Let's go this route. He's got no torsos left. That said, right torso destroyed, right? So my goals will be to stay with one lance each for each series for the longest time. So it'll be speedier play to start with. Uh, later on, um, I know I know I've mentioned this in the past. We're gonna have uh, I'm gonna basically weave the uh, the um, contracts into a storyline so they won't necessarily be contracts we're just going to be independent action taking place so um, I'll work the contracts into a storyline that we can kind of play out on each planet that we're on um, so it'll take a little bit of time but I want to I'm just going to run with one lance um, per game I guess you could call it uh, so we'll have two lances running two games running um, let's do this Um, for as long as possible hopefully to speed things up in the beginning and then once we get like you know uh, well into the game uh, then we can worry about um, uh, let me just get this target here we can worry about uh, having more lances on the field oh we didn't kill the right torso oh we did kill this all oh, right never mind Uh, let's kill this ferret. See ya. I don't know if he's got a uh, tag or anything on it, but... I just want to make sure he, if he does, he's not using it. But yeah, I'm hoping it's going to turn out really well. Um, that's the one thing I do like about... Um, um, Rogue Tech, is you can kind of create series like that where... You know, you can go anywhere. He failed to stand up. Wow. Reporting. Consider it done. Um, yeah, so we're going to create a storyline, basically. Let's get rid of this Arctic Fox. Going to go with the barrage on it. Maybe we can hit some uh, pair of MML7s, eh? See if we can hit the other guy, too. Confirmed. See ya. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and play here at the same time. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, let's get you into here. Moving out. Let's leave the streaks off, put the pulses on this guy and get him off the battlefield, please. Yeah, it's really sad that we didn't get anything off that crab. We can salvage that. But right now, I think we're probably just going to put that guy in storage. It's got a lot of work we need to do on it. Well, we know the Jenner 2C. Oof, really? Alright, looks like you. Wow, the heat in this thing is redonkulous. Go this route. Get it off the hill here. Ah, this mech might be pretty good if it had better heat sinking. I mean, you can load up as many weapons on the damn thing as you want, but if you can't use them every turn, what's the point? I mean, it's nice to have a big alpha strike, but... Oof, what did he have? Hold in firm. Oh, he's overheating anyway. Right here. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Moving. Mm -hmm. See if we can pull this guy off the battlefield. Uh... I'm going to go with Warlord 2. We don't really need to, but I'm going to do it just to give us a better chance to hit. See if we can wreck this guy. Well, not bad. Alright, Dallas. 
we're not gonna we're not gonna push these guys there's no point um, yeah it's hammering with everything Somebody needs some dead fire. And it's this guy right here. 57 to 24. Uh, really? Ah, uh, dead fire is more fun. <laughs> does it really matter? Ah, uh, does it really matter? <laughs> here you go, moron. It's still, ah, uh, so awesome. The Jenner's having second thoughts about moving up. It's like, where's my team? Oh shit, we don't got a team. So they got four guys left. Ow. That could have been worse. Yeah, that guy's being an asshole. Looks like he's got his uh, missiles on his uh, right arm there, so we're going to move over and shoot him from the left. Svantovit. I wonder if that's in stepping range of the Mauler. I won't step with my, with my other guys, but with the Mauler I might as well. Well, at least they ain't chickening out. They're moving into horrible positions for themselves, but at least they're not chickening out. Stop shooting the Hollander. All right, Dallas. I'm receiving you. We're gonna step on that guy, I think. Yep, let's hammer this guy. See ya. And you won't let me move. There we go. He's got to change buttons. Just going to back it up. Confirm. Back it up. Yeah, I'm pr feeling pretty good about the loadouts we have now. So, I'm just worried. I think two, two and a half skull is probably a b our, our better uh, ranking. I'm just worried about taking a three skull mission and getting just hammer like we did la last time. Micro lasers. Orders. Position confirmed. Jenna, here you go, moron. Firing a full salvo. Oh, the uh serms didn't do anything. Yeah. Wow. That's fire maneuver. The rack is jammed, but whatever. Guess I'll give it to him then. Didn't give him very much. Step, step. Wow, the LRMs barely carry any ammo at all, eh? Engaging physical attack. Ugh. Oh. Muller's garbage. No damage detected. You have I guess if it's used correctly, it could be dangerous, but since when do I ever use anything correctly? Yes, Commander. Okay, Apollo. Let's take this guy on. Good to go. Tango down. Killed him. All right, let's get into here. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Lots of damage, though. Yeah, at least with the new series too, then we can have like get get into flamer max, melee max, all kinds of crazy stuff, right? 
I'm still working on the full storyline, uh, the backstory is of the two leader characters and things like that, how things are going to kind of work out. Um, but it's going to be more like less mercenary, like being hired to do stuff and more um, piratey where we kind of just kind of do stuff on our own. That's more or less what it's going to be like. All right, Lilu Dallas multipass. So we can take out the Svantovit. Sure is. Receiving you. Duck, duck, deuce. This guy's all yours. Ooh, see ya. All primary targets have been destroyed. There's some good salvage. Now, do we have to get out of here? Or that should be it. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Do we actually have to get out of here? Okay, well, I'm just going to get ourselves to the uh, extraction point with this heavy piece of garbage moving at, like, no speed here. Oh, God, painful. And then uh, we'll come back. If there's combat, I'll come back. I'll show you the combat. But if there isn't, I'll just see you back on the ship. Tracking an inbound dropship. With what? Well, let's keep going to the drop point. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to drop. I should have probably read that. Let's get you here so you're able to react if we need you to. Same thing with you. The capability of reacting. How might I help? Yes, Commander. Get our reactionaries over there. I'm listening. I'm gonna have you go full speed. Cause you're slow as shiz. Commander? And you better sprint it too. Here they come. New Lance looks like Illyrian markings. Well, they better brought more than they, those other guys had. Griffin? Was that a Griffin? Oh, Scout? Urban? Oh god, these guys are going to die horribly. Centurion? Let's not back down from this fight. I know it's just going to dirty the loot table with junk, but I'm not going to run. What's the plan? plan is to kill these guys. Lightning, Lightning McQueen! Hammer them. Look at the pieces coming off them. One less right here. Mm -hmm. Let's make them wish they never showed up today. Yep. Got our rack back. Hopefully we can use it next turn. Let's get back around here and give this guy some support. Beautiful. Okay, switching back to Artemis. We can't target anything. We can see... Oh, whatever. 
Infiltrator. Okay. Turban mech. No. Does it really matter? <laughs> we only got one type of ammo, right? Yeah, let's just fire it. Oh, a couple hits. Ready for orders. Let's say hello to these guys. Turd mech, let's kill it. Target eliminated. Yes, Commander. God, these guys wishing they never showed up now. It's like, why the hell did you drop us in there? Are you crazy? This should be good. 46 heat. I'm under heavy fire. Relax. Yeah. Oh, can we get the rack in on this one? No! No! Let's reserve. Yeah, you'll probably end up finishing this guy off. Here it is, folks. Target. Yeah, definitely like our in our loadouts now. Mission successful. All right, three hundred fourteen thousand, beautiful. Yeah, no, no real damage at all. Okay, what do we want here? We could take two Centurion parts. Gen 2C. Let's see what we got down here at the bottom. ER medium regulars. Heavy rocket launcher fives. LBX five clan. Six tons. That's a possibility. Pair of, oh, an LRM 20 clan. Yeah, MML seven. Small pulse, some streaks. Tag barrages. I wonder if those were both in that chopper. It's a good thing we killed it when we did. Uh, ooh, battle control system Artemis. Proves called shot location modifier by 4%. Uh, case 2 clan. Whew. Fire control system Artemis clan. Is this 2 tons or... 1.5 tons. Huh. Fire control system standard FLDS or SLDF, sorry. Uh, Clan Guardian ECM. God, lots of good stuff here. Heat sinks. Clan double heat sinks. Ah. Uh, What's going to give us the biggest uh, bang for our buck here? LBX-5 ammo. So if we take the LBX, we got to take ammo. We could go for a mech and just go C-Bills. Streak 6 is a nice idea. Um, well, let's take the Clan LRM-20. Shouldn't pass that up. Uh, regular ER mediums, eh. These are all lighter mechs too, except for the Centurion. We've already got a 50 tonner. I'm going to just roll the dice on the parts, see what we get. Um, we could, I mean, we could take these and put them on all our mechs. That's a possibility. We got endo steel still, do we? No, we don't. Clan Pharaoh, we know we do have. Clan Guardian ECM. Ah. Uh,
I'm sure somebody will point out what I'm missing here. Uh, I mean, we could go with the LBX for a weapon system. It is much cooler, but it is heavier. We don't need any more Artemis ammo. Um, Clan LRM 5s, these are one ton of pop, right? I'm liking the fighting from range. Uh, I should just take these two. They're worth a lot too, so even if we end up just selling them. Although I should... I think as far as ECM goes, we're probably okay. Let's grab a weapon system. Maybe the streak. Ah... Uh, or the clan endo steel, which we can put in the crab if we're gonna get that thing outfitted. But the chances, I don't know, chances are we'll find. I think we've got regular endo steel, so that's okay. Uh, LRM, I don't know. I don't know. MMLs. See, the thing is, is this is four and a half tons for seven launchers. And I know you can find, you can shoot SRMs or LRMs with this. But I can put an I can put a, a streak six and an LRM five in, a clan LRM five for four tons. So it's not as many launchers, but it's still the same weight. I know it takes up two slots rather than one. But I can fire at two targets rather than just one. Um, and have a better chance to hit with the uh, streaks. So I don't know. I mean, as long as I'm using clan weapons, I don't think this is the way to go. Like a streak six and a streak four is five tons in total. Uh, I don't know. Case two. Uh, it's a good possibility. Uh, you know what? I should probably take this. And the reason why I say this is because I'm having f trouble finding case two clan. So having this, it's. I mean, we want to put this on our missile mechs and stuff, right? So... I think I'm probably going to go this route and see what we get here. Let's just roll a dice. All right, Jenner 2C and an Osco part. A eh, couple of ER mediums, small pulse, SRM2, clan, two of them. Eh. SLDF, clan, uh, Pharaoh, double heat sink, regular heat sinks, LBX slug ammo. Ah, God, crap. All right. 30,000 repairs in seven days. That's really nothing. So it's a 17 day jump to the planet I want to go to next. And how, what's our 16 days till financial report? So let's take the seven days and get repaired here. Let's manage our tasks a bit better. Um, so five, let's actually leave the crab in here. So it'll be eight days for repair. That's fine. That's fine. I want the crab to get back relatively fast. I don't want to leave it um, sitting in the bays, constantly being repaired. Okay, so let's have a look here. Because maybe we can get it outfitted sooner rather than later. Uh, Vanguard. Oh, we got a two skull now. Repossession. Beautiful. Um, local pirates. Strike the convoy and destroy it. Yeah, I mean, it's two skulls. Let's go for it. Like, not great salvage, but, you know, it is a two skull. Let's negotiate this sucker. Gonna go full salvage. Let's go in with the kill here. Uh, I think we just move all these guys back one. It's gotta be able to way to lock these, uh, these guys in place here somehow. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Alright, here we go. Looks like we got a few defenders on our side, too. Alright, we know this one. We know this one. You know it's sad, that last mission we took, 
when we jumped down with their uh, Mahler, our uh, difficulty rating, we were three skull. We were a three skull rating. And then when we jumped down with our Hades, which was like 15 tons less, we're like, <laughs> we're a three and a half skull rating. What's the plan? So it's like, yeah, we were, uh, I that Mahler is like, gotta ditch that thing. I kind of understand the use of it. You use the LRMs till you get within range, but that thing is so damn slow, right? You're not going to get within range. You're, you're, it's a designed for longer range fighting. With the ER lasers and the LB and the LBX tens, that's great. But the LRMs running out of ammo that fast, you're wasting 20 tons for the launchers themselves. Right? It's just a big waste of like weight. Do you? Do you understand? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? What's up, boss? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Got it. I was hoping we wouldn't have any drop guys dropping with us this time, but that is not the case. All right, speed it up, eh? Just in case the vehicles are fast. Oh, there they are. Beautiful. Okay. So let's try that targeting the ground with the tags this time. See if we can get some AOE on the... Well, it depends on how spread out the vehicles are, that is. If they're not spread out, then we're not going to... Or if they are spread out, uh, we're not going to bother doing it. But if they're not, if they're close together, we're going to try using the tags on the ground if we can. That may forego us firing everything else, so I don't know. We'll have to see. We could use the swarms at this point. Oof, maybe not. This guy's just a scout car, so let's fire on him. Beautiful. God, loving this archer. LRM-15 is just crazy. Just crazy. Crazy good. Highlander. I mean, we could have put the LBX-5 on this guy, but... Eh, we're good. Uh, alright, just fire. Wow. Nope. I guess I shouldn't have fired the barrage. Ah, man, I'm telling you. I just see the tag, and then I forget this is the barrage afterwards. If you guys don't have ADHD, you don't know how I go, what I what I go through <laughs> for every day. It just can be so difficult. The way your brain sees the world is so much different than than other people. And then you know when you're on spectrum at the same time, it's just even. People just find you very confusing. Makes perfect sense to you, but you know, people just find you confusing. I've gotten used to that. Oh, giant enemy crab. What was that? I don't know what that was. Yeah, Yeah. let's get that rack into position if you don't mind. Yeah, let's see if we can get... If we can get a bigger engine in this thing. This is going to be deadly. So, I think that should be the goal. Saving up, getting the Clan XL engine into this thing and putting in the 250 core in it. Because right now it's only got a 200 core. It's so damn slow. All right, infiltrator. Let's make you the target. Full you got the armor. Might as well use it. Let's see if we can kill this mobile HQ. 
Oof. Maybe not. Commander, wow. What the hell? They got some pretty good ECM. Let's see this offer now. Um, yeah, let's just go with everything. I know we had bad chances to hit, but it's going to take it anyway. Walk it up. Walk it up. Ah, oh, much better chances to hit. One whole missile. Yes, Commander. Could have been worse, I guess. Be there in a jet. Ah, much better. We want to use the barrage now. Let's leave it off. Nice. Reporting critical hit. Now Javelin's got an LRM ten, if I'm not mistaken. They got two javelins? Commando. Phoenix Hawk. There's one more. Oh we gotta kill this carrier. I don't know if it's an SRM carrier or LRM carrier. Well it's probably an SRM carrier. Because that nothing is fired yet. Uh, can you get on that? Uh, yeah, please. Make sure they can't see you. The only time I want them to see you is when we're pouncing. All right, let's hammer this guy if we can. Nope. Oh, 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 no. That hit something good. Yeah, but we didn't destroy it, buddy. Penetrated the side, though, which is good. What do we got left? We got our archer and our centurion. The centurion should be able to finish it off. Now, what's the other mech they've got back there? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it's the crab. That's right. Just can't see him. So it was the javelin that I saw moving the last time. Okay. Crab's there somewhere. Water. Kind of in a... Oh, I'm in a hill, that's why. On the move. Okay, let's target this carrier. 18%, eh? What's the swarm? 12%? Yeah, this is the serum carrier. Let's just go everything on this guy. Okay, it's going to be a little bit to take that guy out. Good start, though. That's the crab up here, I guess. Or is that the mobile HQ that just sat there? Maybe. No, let's get this guy gone so we don't have to worry about him going past us. Uh, four. Yep. Beautiful. Oops, I made a mess. You most certainly did. Oh, Jaimin Phoenix Hawk. It's got pulses, eh? Or not pulses, what are they called? Alright, commando. Ooh, well it's a good thing it was this guy up here. Come on, draw some missiles on these guys. Here you go. Here you go, moron. OK, 
Okay, hopefully we can kill that carrier before he gets within range. Either that or be like right on him on our turn to kill him. Svantovit. Oh yeah, thanks for moving up, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Shoot the carrier, man. Or just miss, that works too. Okay, let's find out what we're doing here. There's that giant enemy crab. All right, Dallas, what do we got here? Let's bring the pain hardcore. Oof, really? It's the same, huh? Two energy. AC-10 with precision ammo. We are, this is these are really our targets, so let's go after this guy. We don't really have a great chance to hit anyway, so. Oh, great, nice. Good hits. Good hits. Give them somebody to shoot for. I just realized the reason why we're having such a bad chance to hit from here, it's because uh, the lasers are way out of range. Oops, that's 24. We want to leave that one on. All right, we're going to use the arrow on this one, see if we can get some uh, area effect damage, and we're going to fire on the Hetzer. Wow. Yeah, sorry about that. Yep, my fault. Totally my fault. Copy that. Yeah, really. Doesn't matter. Well, one hit. How might I help? Have no doubt it will be done. Let's go with the barrage, see if we can get it over there. Well, it hit everybody, nice. Beautiful. Didn't land exactly where I wanted to, but it did hit the carrier, which is important. Come on, shoot the carrier. Not worried about those guys. I want the carrier gone. Yeah. Hetzer's turn. Nice. Uh, we are going to Warlord this one, though. See if we can finish him up. Beautiful. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright. Well, we just got our missile mech left. Drop some lerms on that carrier. Then we should be able to mop up these mechs next couple turns. Beautiful. Ready for order. Well, let's fire first and then move. Fire maneuver, baby. That's the name of the game. Here it comes. Okay, pens, nice. That is something good. Nice. Yeah, soften them up. Make my job a little easier. Make my job a little easier. So this version of Rogue Tech definitely does play a lot differently. And I apologize, I know people have mentioned that I should be 
should be reading up on the on uh, all the changes and the the new key commands and how to change certain things. I just honestly I don't really have a lot of time to be doing things like that. I I know it probably doesn't take a lot of time to do, but it's just I'd rather just get right in and play and just relax and then just enjoy the game. So we'll figure before we do the next series, I'll try and figure all that stuff out. Okay, good. It's worried the SRM carrier was going to get within range, but I think it's moving and bracing. Oh yeah, they're moving up now. They smell blood. Oh, we haven't gotten word of any reinforcements yet. Mm, I better not shoot over my own guy. Let's push these friggers. Let's push them. Uh, can we hit the carrier? Really low chances to hit. We could finish it up though. Maybe. Although that commando is kind of a juicy target. Let's take that guy. Engaging target. Well, there goes an arm. At least that's what it looked like. Uh, let's just move. Uh, I better not move anywhere. Can it overheat? You have order? I do. Yeah, baby, just hammer this guy. Target acquired and locked in. Of course. Standing by. Shit. I want to get this carrier. I don't know if we can get it with LRMs. See if we can get it this way. Oh, it's pretty shredded. See ya. Beautiful. I was just worried that if we didn't get it before, it might have an opportunity to get a shot off at us, and that's the last thing I wanted. Alright, uh, let's just wind this up because he's just going to stand there, so... Let's just give it to him. Oh, he's got X-Pulses. That's what he's got. I'm trying to remember what the hell he had. Mm -hmm. I'm going. That's weird damage. 19 and then 3. Some kind of variable damage weapon? I don't know. I don't know. Can we get... Oh yeah, we can get direct line of sight on these guys. Let's give them the big ba-boom. Oof, really? 51, eh? 80% on this guy. 55 on the javelin. Really bad on him. Pretty good on him. Uh... Okay, we're going to multi. We're going to multi's Falcon this. This guy and this guy. So A is going to take a pair of 15s. Actually, he's going to take one 15 in the medium. And B will take the rest of the alarms. Ooh. Wait, did I get that reversed? I did. Doesn't matter. He got them both anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh. 
ADHD. It's your, it's, it's your comedy friend and mine. <laughs> How many times do I do that, though? Get the targeting reversed? It's like, what? Can't even tell my left from my right. What the hell? All right, what are you up to? A little bit of a disco show, huh? Nice. Good thing moving that Hollander out like that wasn't in vain. I thought for sure, if I didn't kill that SRM carry, the Hollander would be taking a face full of SRMs. That crab's dead meat next turn, though. I think these missiles might uh, finish off this javelin. That guy's not doing anything. Thanks for showing up, buddy. All right. We're not moving. We're just going to stand here and fight. Uh, let's turn off the other magna here. That's not going to make that much difference, is it? Uh, we need better heat management in this thing. Magnus doing more damage. Better chance to hit than the ER medium. So let's do this. Alright, here it comes. Come on, bail out. You don't want to stay for the rest of this, do you? Uh, let's take the overheat because I don't think this guy's going to survive past this round. Yeah, I know. Yes, we are on a hot planet, so there is that. Okay, well, at least it didn't go off to the side. Reporting. Oof, really? I'll be there before you know. Will ya? Alright, hammer him. Guy's holding on. He's holding on. Brax down. We'll just take this guy out over here. Beautiful. Yeah. Hammer him. We claim the arm? No, we did not. Well, he does have a 40% damage reduction, so there is that. Alright, who are you shooting on? Come on, I gave you the Hades. You didn't move at all. Oh crap, don't hit my guys. Come on. Oh, for Christ's sake. Anybody got a tag barrage left? I want to target that friggin' Svant of it. Eh, 
All right, fired. Well, there goes the arm. Oh, his NSS is gone now too, so. Yeah. Don't want to be shooting with Dallas standing back there. Beautiful. Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. Okay. This should do it, I think. This should do it. Let's finish him up. Here it comes. Gonna go into overheat. We're good. Oh, he's still going. Inflicted some heavy damage. Panic level critical. Wonder if we can push him over the top with a light hit. Get him to bail out. I mean, I don't really need the crab parts, but the light AC might be nice. The light AC five. Get up here and breathe on him. Just breathe on him. Okay, there goes the leg. That was a critical hit, that was. NSS destroyed again. Nope, not bailing out, eh? Let's just go this route. There we go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 25%, which should cover our repairs. We did take a little bit of damage, nothing major, but a little bit. All right, let's have a look here. So, garbage parts, light AC5, AC10. What's the weight on this thing again? Five tons. 35 damage though, 480 meters. Meh, not bad. Narc launcher, regular tag, which we've got. Oh, these guys are the ones that do 10 damage. Quantity six. Are you kidding me? I'll take six of those, sure. Battle computer, plus two initiative. For all lance mates. We've already got one of these installed in our guys, so I don't need another one, I don't think. Uh, Artemis 3. This is actually, I think, a, people were saying this is better than the Artemis 4 because this plus one accuracy and evasion pips ignored is applied to all of the missiles rather than just the Artemis rounds getting a plus two to hit or whatever. So we're going to take that because that'll be handy. And then we got patchwork materials here, which is actually really good. We don't need the sensors missile range because we've got one already that we're using, but we don't need anything on anything else. So AP ammo. Minus 50% chance to deal a critical hit. Plus 50% modifier to through armor critical chance. Ten damage dealt directly to internals. Minus 30 auto cannon damage, minus one accuracy with this weapon. Seems kind of counterintuitive. But that's the kind of thing we're going to, uh, this is the kind of thing we're going to be taking in the, um, the next series. All kinds of crazy shit like this. We're going to use a bunch of stuff and just see how it all works. All right, we got one thing left. SRM dead fire ammo. Um... I don't think we need that. I can't get over we got six of these things. That's crazy. I think we'll take the patchworks. Patchworks are always a win, although this is kind of nice too. Um, I think the patchwork we'll get more use out of. So we can put it anywhere really. 
All right, let's go with that. Um, commando and a uh, uh, javelin part. Oh, we got the four, um, four more. Of these. So these must have all been on the SRM carrier. Could you imagine this guy getting off rounds on us? That would have been crazy. Oh, we got the armored cowl. Okay, some ammo. Yeah, I mean that's actually not a bad rollout for what what was there. Okay. 39,000. Okay. Yeah, we knew we took a bit of damage. That's fine. Eight days for repair. So we're going to jump between episodes here. I'm going to make a jump to... Uh, I can't remember the name of the planet, but it is close by. Um, 17 days away. It's not that bad. Let's just see if there's any other way we can... Let's get the crab up because we're going to get that out of the... Uh, mech base and into storage before financial reports we can save a little bit of sea bills but we're going to make that jump um, next episode when we come back we'll be at the new planet i might make a few minor modifications to the mechs with the gear that we have uh, i'm going to sell a bunch of junk that we have too um, just to get our funds up for the next uh, round and if we can get enough to get an xl engine in i don't know if we'll have enough to get an xl engine into the uh, centurion let's manage our tasks again and we'll get the centurion up here but if we can get an XL engine into the Centurion before um, we start running the next episode, I'm going to try and do that. If not, then we'll have to deal with it until we get more sea bills. And once again, somebody mentioned that I should be taking missions for sea bills. That might be an op opportunity for next time. Just go like either half and half. Uh, I don't want to miss out on salvage because if we just go all sea bills and we get a great salvage uh, opportunity with the drop that we get, it's like it's just going to stab me in the heart, right? So. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to go full sea bills, but maybe half and a half. All right, so I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.